Right, before I get into the video, I just want to add, by no means is this me trying to show off and I'm not a financial advisor. This is just literally for entertainment purposes only. All right, anyways, welcome to the channel. My name's Ben, I'm 19 and I stack shells for a living. Big up the boys at co-op. Anyways, I'm here to make you rich, or at least I hope you grow your money. Now, if you've been living under a rock for the past year, you'd know that times right now are extremely hard. Unemployment is at an all-time high, thousands on furlough, if not unemployed. Fortunately for me, despite losing my potential career in tourism, only having to leave sixth form and not take any of my exams, even though it was probably for the best, I suddenly became a key worker in my weekend job. Now, I wanted to make the most of my time during lockdown, so I did most of my research on making money at home. I even made a website on Shopify, uh, but yeah, it kind of flopped. Anyways, uh, it brought me to the stock market, of which was currently suffering from a crash. I got inspired to start investing and began with my first £50. Now, a lot of people thought I was being risky with the current market climate, but as I deposited more, I was seeing more gains than half my monthly wage in a matter of days. I then started to read more, which completely changed my financial mindset. Fast forward to many months later, I was working non-stop to the point where I got a promotion, all of which just to pump money in my account. The whole year I managed to roughly invest 80-90% to 90 of my income each month. Last year I set a target of hitting 20k in my account, which brings me to now. Alright, before we get into the video, I just want to say excuse the trim. It's well overdue, but at least I'm not cutting it myself. Also, I know this is my first video, so give me some slack, but I am currently editing this on my phone as I spilled beer on my MacBook and I think it's bust. So I'll do my best. <laughs> now, just before I move on, I just want to say that the reason I want to make these videos is to potentially inspire more people, hopefully my age, uh, if not older, doesn't matter, uh, to start investing. You don't need much to start with. The least you actually need is probably is actually one pound. If you click the link down below, if you open an account with Trading Two on Two, both yourself and I will get one free share worth up to a hundred pounds. You can, if you don't want to keep the share, you can instantly sell it and bank it if you want. So you could be getting a free hundred pounds. But right, enough waffling. Let's get into the video. Alright, so I'm currently using my old phone. Don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Yeah, I've got tape over it and everything. It's literally because I'm recording with I'm recording with my current iPhone. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to use the six to go along with. But yeah, it'll work, it'll work. So So as you can see, we're currently at twenty thousand eight hundred and three pounds fifty-four pence. With coincidentally a return of twenty twenty. Now as you can see there are two penny stocks in there, just ignore that for now. I'm just trying something out with that. Um, but that won't affect the rest of the portfolio. First on the list, we've got Electromechanica Vehicles, or ticker symbol SOLO. Now, currently it is $8.16 a share, and we currently hold 207 shares at an average price of $9.68. So we are down on this by 18.17%. However, I'm not worrying whatsoever. Um, I did buy probably at a wrong point. I've tried to average down. But um, yeah, this is my lowest, uh, this is my smallest holding um, for my EVs in the account. However, I do see massive upside potential of this. Um, I think recent price targets I've seen for this is 12, range from 12 to $16 a share. With this stock, I'm not looking to hold long term. I do kind of want this money to perhaps, perhaps go into other areas. Um, I don't own any charging companies, so for example, Blink or SPE. So I have been thinking about that, um, or potentially just add to my other positions. So yeah, that's Solo. Next up on the list, we've got Lee Auto, ticker symbol LI. Lee Auto is currently down from Friday, it's at $34.45. Um, we currently own 71 shares at $29.30, uh, which puts us up 17.29% 17, 17 if we didn't count the exchange rate. With the news of the delisting of the Chinese EV companies, um, that is pretty much what drove down the price. However, um, there's nothing to be concerned about it now. They're still recovering from that uncertainty, but um, yeah, no, that's, there's nothing to worry about now. Massive upside potential in the future. Um, whether or not I could expand, expand to outside China, who knows? 
but um, I think they're going to be dominant in the Chinese EV market in the coming years. Next on the list is Xpeng, ticker symbol XPEV. Uh, now I currently hold Xpeng at an average price of $55.97. Um, I was positive for the first time only yesterday and Friday. Now I have been in it before, I first started buying it back when it was about $32, $33 a share. And yeah, I just wish I hadn't sold. I mean, I sold for a quick profit. I sold a bit when it went all the way up to 72. And I couldn't believe I bought back. And yeah, basically it went all the way down to 38. Uh, I think we were down quite heavily on this. But anyways, yeah, we own 75 shares, uh, an average price of $55.97. Um, my strategy to investing was completely different. I basically sold whenever I got a profit. Um, so yeah, that was kind of a noob, noob mistake by me. But um, yeah, I'm looking to hold long term now. I can see a potential uprise of Xpeng hitting $100 in the near future. So yeah, again, Xpeng, I'm not selling um, anytime soon. I did actually, because I went positive yesterday, I did um, lower my position in them because it was actually quite high. It was my second biggest. I think it still is my second biggest position. But um, you'll see in a moment, I did put some money in another EV. Next on the list, it doesn't really need an introduction, does it? It's Tesla, ticker simple, TSLA. Now, unless you, again, unless you've been living under a rock this past year, um, Tesla's absolutely gone through the roof. Um, I have been in the stock for quite a while. Um, I know my return right now isn't that great because I literally, like I say, we've got four shares here and I bought this yesterday. I bought it on a small dip, an average price of just under $835 a share. Now, with Tesla, I have been in it for a while. I started buying it back in July, I think. Yeah, July the 1st. Now, again, this is another re this is another op um, this is another great example of me not holding the stock. So far with Tesla, I've made to the penny £1,726.72. Um, however, um, I initially had nine shares after the split in August. Um, if that had been the case and I just held, that would be now worth £5,571.72, which would have seen me a profit of £2,571.72 for my three grand initial investment. So it just goes to show like I would have made more if I'd held, but yeah, I didn't. <laughs> Despite its recent run from being added to the S&P 500, and if you don't know that, uh, if you don't know what the S&P 500 is, I will go over it in a later video, because um, I know some of you will be completely new to all of this, so yeah, I will, I will cover that in a later video. Um, I do think Tesla still has massive upside potential. I think, again, uh, it's just the beginning for Tesla, as when you think you, you're seeing more and more Teslas on the road nowadays, but I feel as if they have got loads more room to grow, especially how Biden wants to expand the electric vehicle market in America. Um, and again, Tesla competing in China. I, I just think Tesla still, I reckon I can see them hitting that thousand pounds, around thousand pound mark in the, in the near future. Anyway, last on the list is my favorite and my biggest holding is NIO. Ticker symbol NIO. Currently near, as a time of recording this, uh, just under $62 a share. Um, we currently own 268 shares, an average price of $49.79. $49 I keep wanting to say pounds. Um, we are down on the exchange rate, however, um, so if we did ignore that, if we did ignore the exchange rate, we're actually up 23%, 23.61%. Now, um, they are down from all highs just after Neo Day from last week. I think they went to I think it was like sixty-seven dollars a share, um, which did see us at about three bags of sand up. But um, again, I mean, with Neo, is another scenario where I've bought in at a low price and then I've not hold and sold a lot. So yeah, done move by me again. I think previously we did. I did own Neo. I think I started buying them at twenty-one dollars back in October. Now. I still have made decent profit on them. It just, but 
I'll go over what I'll um, what I've made. So so far, Neo um, has made me one thousand six hundred and eight pounds and sixty eight pence, um, but that's not including the current position, um, which would because I've current position here. Where we up? Yeah. Well, without the, if you ignored the exchange rate, we're up two thousand three hundred and seventy eight pounds. So of all that together, um, so far Neo has made me three thousand nine hundred and eighty six pounds and ninety pence. Um, so yeah, I mean, no way am I selling Neo in the near future. Um, I can easily see them being again a hundred dollars plus this year um, with the expansion of their factory, their new factory being built at the moment. Oh yeah, and the J.P. Morgan current um, price of seventy five dollars a share. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm in no rush to sell, and I think this is going to be the the one company I try and hold for as long as possible. So for my whole account, my total return at the moment is five thousand six hundred and sixty three pounds and ninety four pence. This is all locked in profit from what I've sold previously. Previously sold, um, not including the additional two thousand two hundred uh, from the account at the moment. As you see, I've just deposited fourteen thousand of my own money. Uh, and taken out 800. So if we took that 14,000 and compared it to our current price, just at 20,803 pounds, it's roughly there about a 50% return. And, and I've been, this account has been going since the 1st of July. So half a year, it's not too bad, 50%. It could be better, again, if I held my Neo and my Tesla, um, and even Xpeng. But um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy with it. So, uh, so yeah. But I think the moral of the story for this past year goes to show that it's good to take profit. I know there's that quote that says, no one ever lost money taking profit. However, for my situation, I don't really want to sell them. And if I'm going to continue growing my portfolio, I think it just shows long term is the best way. Or in other words, as Graham says, time in the market rather than time in the market. But yeah, as you see, I did start this account on the first first of July, if I put my initial, I don't know how much I put in there. Forty two, yeah, forty two pounds. First of July, and to, to what we are now, um, yeah. So anyways, yeah, that's the portfolio. If you'd like me to go through any individual stocks, uh, then let me know in the comments. Um, again, click the link down below um, if you want to get a free share and you want to make an account. Go through that link because you will get free money doing it rather than doing it separately any further questions uh, you want to ask me my socials be in the description or somewhere on the screen um yeah just give me give me a message i, I don't mind answering um if you want me to go through anything anything in particular in videos and talk about it then let me know let me know in the comments um then yeah anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one in a bit